How's it going guys, it's Jason here and today's video I'm very excited because I found this set online. It is a set that I've been wanting for nearly 8 years now. I missed out on the opportunity to get it when it first came out back in 2005. But here is Series 1, the original first series of Necker's Cult Classic Series. And it's a set of four. Uh, I'll take you through them. I've also just purchased online um, the 18-inch Necker uh, Patrick Bateman, which I'll do a comparison between the 7-inch and the 18-inch uh, uh, variants. But uh, just some backstory, I've, uh, I've got my uh, Movie Maniacs um, figures. I collected them uh, when they came out new. And um, so Neck, uh, sorry, McFarlane um, finished their Movie Maniac series uh, with Movie Maniac Series 7 back in 2004. Uh, and that was the last Movie Maniac series that McFarlane did. Uh, they had a great run, amazing innovators, Todd McFarlane. Um, was an innovator of the horror movie and action sci-fi movie uh, action figure franchise. But at the end of 2004, NECA bought the licenses to uh, off McFarlane for key horror um, icons like Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, as well as a few others, and started the um, cult classics series, in 2005 the following year so this is series one and i'll take you through each of the figures uh so let's get started all right so first up we've got mohawk from gremlins 2 the new batch just on the side here we've got the uh, movie poster which is cool here they grow again we told you remember the rules you don't listen you didn't listen so uh yeah this figure's awesome it's quite large the mohawk figure uh it comes with uh, the beaker with the spider dna serum as well as a um, lab table base and that's one thing that i really liked about this uh cult classic series is um that each figure came with a display base which was really awesome so the detail on this figure looks awesome comes with is is missing his mohawk it just slots in the top there but it's actually packaged just a bit behind him uh but just for packaging purposes so he'd fit in there because he actually is a quite large figure uh there's the side of the box and the back here so this is a cult classic series a brand new series comprised of your favorite heroes and villains from classic horror sci-fi and action uh movies each figure is highly detailed and comes complete with movie accurate accessories and display base. So that's really cool. There you got a photo of Mohawk and then the other figures in the series. Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. Eric Draven from The Crow. Uh, obviously Mohawk. And um, Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. Uh, this is a write-up of the um, figure. Perhaps the most evil and sadistic gremlin, Mohawk begins his reign of terror in the Splice of Life Laboratory. Mohawk helps to mutate a new batch of gremlins into a mob of genetically altered nocturnal terrors waiting for their chance to escape the clamp building. Uh, they're ready to wreak havoc in the Big Apple, New York. Uh, Mohawk. So that is Mohawk from Cult Classics Series 1. I'd just also like to add that I recently got uh, the Ultimate Gizmo Gremlin uh, figure by NECA. So I'll put a link in the description of the video um, that I did on that. So you can check out the comparison between the two figures. So next up, we've got Eric Draven from The Crow. He comes with a, an actual crow that sits on his shoulder. A uh, flexible raincoat as well as a graveyard and tombstone base, which looks absolutely awesome. Um, so the figure looks great. Um, I've got in another video on my channel, I'll put the link in the description, I've got the McFarlane's Movie Maniacs uh, Crow figure, um, Eric Draven from Movie Maniacs Series 2. So if you want to check out that after this, um, the video will be in the link in the description. So there's the side of the box. And the back here, so a young rock guitarist along with his fiance 
is brutally killed by a ruthless gang of criminals exactly one year after his death. Eric returns watched over by a hypnotic crow uh, to seek vengeance. He will battle the evil crime lord and his band of thugs. They must pay for their crimes. So, awesome movie and uh, awesome character there. Um, really happy with this uh, Eric Draven uh, figure. Really accurate to the... I think all these um, all these figures are super accurate and detailed um, and really wrapped that they uh, come with a base because I think it completes the figure and um, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed that NECA don't put bases in their ultimate action figures because I think that would be make them ultimate. But oh, there we go. We've got uh, the new ultimate Chucky that uh, I'll be doing another video uh, on soon. But that's Eric Draven from The Crow. Here we have Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. And this figure looks absolutely awesome. Um, after I show you this one, I'll do a comparison between this one and the NECA 18-inch figure, which I also have. But... This figure is loaded with accessories. Um, so happy with it. it. The figure looks really cool. Um, but in terms of accessories, you've got the uh, nail gun from the movie, which is awesome. Uh, headset with um, cassette player. Comes with two knives, kitchen knife and butcher knife, as well as the cassette tape. So here's a close-up of the cassette tape, if you can read it pretty funny he also comes with an alternate hand to help hold some of the other accessories as well as his axe that he uses to uh, dismember Paul Allen as well as on the side just down there his um, suitcase which is pretty cool and display base which is all newspaper that he uh, puts over his apartment when he's uh, when he kills Paul Allen in his apartment the only other thing he could uh, come with would be the raincoat, but um, still, still happy with this. So here's the write-up. Uh, Patrick Bateman has all the human characteristics of a hum human being, blood, flesh, skin, hair, but not a single clear identifiable emotion except for greed and disgust. Something horrible is happening inside of him. His nightly bloodlust is overflowing into his days. As he delves deeper into violence and murder, his mask of sanity slips away killer looks and that's a photo of the actual figure and the, the high detail in this figure is just great so there you have it patrick bateman from american psycho all right guys here we have jason Voorhees from friday the 13th part 7 the new blood this figure is amazing i've been wanting this figure for so many years that's my favorite figure from the cult classics um series one uh if not all of the uh, cult classics line. It's amazing. It comes with a massive base, which I'm really happy with. The figure looks awesome. What I really love is that it comes with a removable mask, which is an awesome feature because the um, the Movie Maniacs McFarlane um, Movie Maniacs figure from Series 1, uh, which I have in a video on, um, on my channel, which I'll put another link in the description, uh, the mask isn't remo removable. So, um, yeah, unfortunately it doesn't, doesn't have a removable mask, but this one does. I've also got the 18-inch um, version of this figure, uh, which looks very similar, but just massive. Um, and that's in my 18-inch NECA and McFarlane movie um, action figure collection. So I'll put a link in um, to, the, to that video in the video's description. But this figure is awesome. It's massive. What I really like is that they've... Um, Cold Classics have, have scaled the um, figures quite well. So if you look at the two figures, is actually Jason's nearly a head taller than um, Patrick Bateman. So um, whereas with the Movie Maniacs um, figures, um, they're, they're all the same size, which is a bit disappointing. Like um, Freddy uh, Krueger is the same height as Jason Voorhees in the Movie Maniacs um, Fig action figure series whereas here they've scaled them appropriately because Jason is a massive um, horror character in terms of height and size he's massive this figure also comes with a machete axe and um, harpoon spear which actually has real string or rope on it which is really cool and I love the detail I love his exposed ribs and how the um, 
the shirt is a separate molded piece of plastic. Oh, so yeah, there's the poster. I oh, absolutely love this figure. Um, I'm so wrapped picking this one up. There's a curse in these woods, Jason Voorhees' curse. They say he died as a boy, but he keeps coming back. Few have seen him and lived. Some tried to stop him, but no one can. He's out there waiting. And there's a photo of the figure. And awesome that it's also got the chain as well um, hanging down. But the 18-inch version is, is um, identical to this. Uh, so definitely check that out. Um, in the link in the description but yeah absolutely right Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th part 7 the new blood here we have the 18 inch Patrick Bateman from American Psycho uh, by Necker toys came out the same year 2005 which is the same year as um, cult classic series 1 also by Necker uh, so this figure looks awesome I um, the detail in this figure is Amazing. I think it's even more accurate than the seven inch figure. I think just the the detail in the face uh, Looks very similar, but because it's a larger figure they can just do put a bit more detail into it I think um the the head sculpt and the paint job. Uh, I think it's a just a bit easier to um uh, Do the paint and sculpt the larger figures so really happy with this comes with some motion activated sounds about to mention it so in comparison i think uh the 18 inch figure has better detail and a better accurate more accurate head sculpt but the seven inch um variant comes with more accessories so this um this 18 inch figure comes with uh the suitcase or briefcase which is really nice um also comes with the um axe as well as the uh, kitchen knife. I don't think you'll be able to see it that well. Both the kitchen knife and the... Um... Sorry, the angle's not that good. Kitchen knife and the um, butcher knife that this one comes with. Um, as well as an alternate hand to help um, hold them. The only thing that this 18-inch figure comes with that the 7-inch figure doesn't come with, which I think is a great addition, is the business card. And you can see it just in the corner there. Uh, and this is a larger size version of the business card. So yeah, that's hilarious. Um, love how it comes with the business card because that's uh, such a memorable part of the movie. Um, so, But it does not come with a lot of the accessories like the uh, VHS tape as well as the headset um, with the cassette player or the bass or the nail gun. Nail gun's a big one too. So um, unfortunately it doesn't come with those ones but still looks amazing um, and great detail in the head sculpt. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what you think of Necker's cult classic series and which one's your favourite figure. I uh, look forward to hearing your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe for more action figure reviews and videos, and I'll speak to you guys soon. See ya.